Today's blank is from Sugar Tick Custom Lures. It's the Rock K55. It's about three and a half inches long, and it has bug eyes, so we're not going to be worrying about super gluing eyes to the lure. The body doesn't have any texture, so we're going to try a fine mesh and see what we can come up with. With the pearl lime green, I'm just going to try to go over the shoulders and the back. For the fine scaling pattern, I'm going to use this fresh garlic mesh bag. It has very, very small holes and is very elastic, so it should do well. For this simple design, I'm just going to paint from the shoulders up. So I'll just attach the mesh on the bottom and paint across the top. With the fluorescent raspberry, I'm going to go over the pearl lime green behind the mesh. I mix a tiny amount of black with the fluorescent raspberry to create a stripe across the back. I realize I missed the front of the lure, so I'll spray it a little bit with this fluorescent raspberry black mix. For the eyes, I'm going to use a circle stencil that's about the same size. I'll first paint the whole eye with the opaque black. I'm going to grab a tiny amount of opaque white to mark where I want the next part of the eye. I'm then going to use a smaller stencil for the iris of the eye. 
I'll spray this with opaque white. Before the next step, I dry it with a hair dryer. I got this little tool, well, I stole this little tool from my mom. It's used to paint Easter eggs, but I'm going to use it to stamp the pupil into the eye. It's time to mix the epoxy clear coat and apply it. The lure will spin for 3 hours and then dry for 24 hours. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.